Hey guys, it's Colby. Uh, you may not recognize my face because I haven't posted a video in a while, so I am sorry. Um, it's kind of what this video is about. I'll get into that in a second. Um, I hope you guys have had a great last couple of months. I hope you had a great Easter. I did, and uh, I just, I don't know about y'all, I just, I love Easter, and I love what it represents, and I love remembering what Christ did for us, and it's just awesome. Um, so I know this is not where I usually do my videos. This is not how I usually look. I just got back from the gym actually and I was like, you know what? I'm going to make a video. No more excuses. Uh, so that's kind of what this video is about. Um, I, I really, from the bottom of my heart, am so sorry that I have not made a video in a while. You guys have asked and I've said, oh, I'll put one out soon and whatever. And I haven't fulfilled that. And I, I, pr like, I am so sorry. Um, I honestly, I just have been selfish and I have, you know, put other things before setting time out to make a video or I've made plans or I've just, you know, sometimes I don't even have plans and I just get lazy and it's not right because I committed to doing this and it's not fair to you guys and I honestly was doing it out of a selfish part of me and that's not what I'm called to be is someone who's selfish and doesn't do what she can to help others and that's not what anybody is called to be um and so I just really wanted to I guess take this video um so I can be super long I just wanted to say I'm sorry um and then kind of get into that how that's what a lot of us do and I'm not saying that I'm not saying that to take the heat off me. I I feel very bad and very guilty, and I've grown really close to the Lord the last couple of um, months, and I've just tried pursuing Him and uh, succeeded. Thank you, Jesus. Um, but I have just have wanted to get a lot closer to Him, and the closer you get to God, the more He reveals to you the things that you need to work on and that's great and sometimes we think oh and we want to ignore the things that we need to work on and blah 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 but no I've come to love my weaknesses because I know that the Lord's going to swoop in and I've always anytime I speak or talk to somebody I say our weaknesses are beautiful because that's when the Lord swoops in and he's like hey I know you're weak in this area sometimes and I know you can be selfish and you can be this and that but I still love you, and I want to show you a better way. And then we get this great revelation, and we're like, ah! um, And it kind of stinks because you wish you'd have gotten it before you, you know, treated somebody bad or was selfish and didn't make videos or something like that. But that's just what growing is and growing in your faith is about. You just realize stuff, and sometimes you might think, oh, I wish I would have realized this sooner, and, you know, it's too late. And But it's not. It's not because you can choose to either go back to your old habits or you can choose to make a change and I'm choosing to make a change and I you know and I know that it's not going to be easy for me um because it's in our nature to be selfish we're a selfish generation and uh but we have to change that like the, the only way for us to not be a selfish generation is for us to stand up and say all right I'm done I'm not doing this anymore and for us to turn our ways and not be a selfish generation um, Philippians 2, 3, just want to read it, um, says, don't be selfish. Don't try to impress others. Be humble, thinking of others as better than yourselves. Uh, I think that's awesome. And that's something that we all struggle with. And not just being selfish, but I mean, thinking of others as better than yourself. Like, that's not, our world does not teach us to be okay with other people being better than us. Our world teaches us that we need to be the best, we need to make the most money, we need to be the most famous, we need to do this and that and this and that, and those are all the wrong things. The Bible says the first who are here first will be last there, and who are poor here will be rich there, and all, like, the Bible teaches us the exact, to do the exact opposite. If somebody slaps your cheek, give them the other cheek. If they, you know, ask for the shirt off of your back, give them your coat too. Like, the Lord, it, it's just, it's kind of a cool thing because we're supposed to do the opposite of what the world thinks we're supposed to do. And by doing those things, we stand out. And people are like, wait a second. I 
I just like tweeted me something mean about her. Why did she just say hi to me? Like it's in those moments where Jesus shines through. And my mom's always said at all times, preach the gospel when necessary, use words. We just have to start letting our lives reflect it. I don't want to be someone that you guys can't count on or that my family or friends can't count on. And I know I have been before and I don't want to be that person and I'm not going to let myself be that person. And I want the Lord to convict me because, and I want my friends and family and I want people to convict me and say, hey, you realize you said this, but you didn't do this. Or you said this, but you did this because that's what's going to make us change. And we have to start learning to accept loving criticism uh, because that's what helps us grow as well. My um, group of friends, I um, am really blessed to have a really great group of friends now that the Lord has placed around me. And every Monday we have our village, and that's what we call it. My best friends, Tyler and Jordan, they really wanted to call it a village, so we did. Um, and the first night we all went around and we affirmed each other. And, you know, we just spoke life into each other's lives and just said, hey, this is what I see, this is what I love about you and admire about you and all that stuff. And we said that we also um, want to maybe do one where we say, all right, you know, sometimes, you know, this this is how, this is what I perceive that you do or whatever, you know, just, and not necessarily say mean things to each other or, or anything like that, but out of love say, hey, sometimes you do this and this is kind of how it makes me feel and I don't know if anyone else feels that way, but... I don't think you do it on purpose, but I just want you to know because, you know, something like that. Um, my mom said that one time years ago, uh, she was at church and um, a guy told her, he said, you know, Victoria, when you talk to people, you're always looking around and you're like this, you're like, mm-hmm, okay, yeah. And he said, and I don't think you realize but sometimes that can come off like you don't care about the person you're talking to because you never look them in the eye you're always looking for someone better to talk to and and that's just how it com comes off and I don't think that's how you mean it but that's how people perceive it and my mom didn't even realize it she was like oh my gosh I didn't even realize that's how that could come off so since then she said she always has strived to look someone in the eye whenever they're talking and you know just little things like that but saying stuff out of love and not saying it out of trying to be mean or anything like that. Just saying, I love you so much that I want to tell you this. And I want you to know this. And um, and all of that. Uh, it's a lot longer than I planned. But okay, you know. Um, whatever the Lord has planned. Um, I hope you guys have a fabulous week. And like I said, I am sorry. And I hope you guys can forgive me for not sticking true to my word. And uh, I hope you guys give me another chance. And uh, I love you guys. Thank you for the people who have continued asking for videos because it's you guys who kept pushing me and saying, why aren't you doing this? Why aren't you doing this? Why aren't you doing this? And the Lord was like, why aren't you doing this? Why aren't you? These people are asking and all that stuff. And um, oops, I just, that was not a fart, y'all, okay? I was scratching the, okay, yeah. Um, oh my gosh, I can't believe I just said that. Have a great week. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Bye.